Hi guys, I want to talk about Aristotle's conception of the naturalness of the state. Unlike um, Plato's arrangement and postulations that we can um, that we dis we've discussed um, for the past few weeks, um, from which we can deduce that um, the state in Platonic conception was an artificial creation. Um, Aristotle believes that the state is natural. And if you look at what Plato said, we were all living in a state of nature and because we are not self-sufficing, we came together to form a group of producers. Another group was put together um, called the Guardians who gathered the, nat the national wealth. And then we needed a philosopher came um, to provide um, governance and that was what justice within the state was going to be brought about. If you look at all these with the inconsistencies and, um, and and contradictions, you will be able to deduce um, quite, um, um, quite frankly, that the the postulations of the of Aristotle, or sorry, the postulations of Plato on the state, um, made the state look like an artificial creation. But Aristotle was quite emphatic in arguing that the state was natural. The state is never an uh, an artificial creation, but the state is indeed natural. Uh, to man and he has so many reasons why he believes that the state is natural and I would go through four of such reasons and then I'm sure when we get to a lecture hall we can talk more about some of these things the factors that Aristotle put together or put forward to um, argue that the state is natural number one he says the state is natural because it evolved from the natural family you agree with me that the family is natural how did how do we get a family the family comes about as a result of a natural relationship between a man and a woman so a man and a woman marry they give birth to children and then they form a family with time the family grew and then villages are formed with time villages expand communities are formed now the f communities also expand several communities are formed and then the state evolves from the several communities that tend or get to be formed and so the family is natural and it is from the family that you have the state also you know coming um, to be birthed and so uh, that in a, in Aristotle's view makes the state natural because the state is a natural evolution or the natural offshoot of the natural family. The family comes about as a result of a natural relationship between a man and a woman. And so the state then, according to Aristotle, um, is natural. Now, um, he has another reason why the state, according to him, is natural. He argues that if the family that gives birth or that yes gives birth to the state is natural then the state itself is more natural than the family and this is how he puts it he says the family is only part of the state and so if the part of the state which is family is natural then the bigger state should be more natural it's just like arguing that the part of the body cannot take precedence over the entire body. So one eye is just a part of your body and it cannot be more important than your entire body. And so if the small family is natural, the small family that is a subset of the state is natural, then the super um, set of the state of the state itself should be more natural than the subset the subset so the smaller family if it is described as natural cannot be more natural than the bigger so the, the, the bigger super set that provides a housing for the smaller family so um once um, a group of students came to my house i mean in those days you had a lot of very elderly people who um, came to the university as uh, students they came to my house to uh, for me to provide provide some tutorials and then um, when they came they met my father 
you know, at the entrance. My father asked, who are you looking for? He said, we are looking for your son. My father said, we are looking for my son for wisdom. Well, I am the father. If you are coming to look for my, for my son for wisdom, I can tell you that I'll give you more wisdom than my son. He's just arguing that he is bigger than me. And so if there is anything in my head, then he, then there is more in his head than can be found in my head. So the, the, the family, if it is natural, cannot be more natural than the state, which is bigger. That is the argument that he puts, he puts out. The third reason why he believes that the state is natural is the fact that, you see, man or man has it man has the natural inclination to dialogue and dialogue cannot occur outside the state it is only within the state that man can dialogue outside the state according to him is it's it's like a state of nature or a certain jungle where the maximum there is survival of the fittest you cannot use dialogue you know in a jungle you cannot use dialogue in a state of nature but naturally man was born or was created to use dialogue to resolve um, conflict and it is only within the state that we can have peaceful dialogue to resolve our differences if it's in the state of nature or if it's in the, if it's in a jungle we cannot we wouldn't be able to have the opportunity to use um, dialogue and if it is only within the state that we have the opportunity to dialogue then the state is natural the state exists to satisfy the natural inclination of man to use dialogue as a means to resolve conflict and to go about his normal activities with his fellow man so that's the third reason why i also believe that the state is is um, is natural the fourth the fourth reason why Aristotle believes that the state is natural is that it is within the state that we can lead or we can live quality lives. Now, quality lives include